Hello everybody and uh, welcome to our demo of uh, performing server migrations to VMware vCloud Director with PlateSpin uh, Migrate. So today we're going to show you how easy it is to uh, migrate Windows and Linux servers to uh, VMware vCloud Director with uh, PlateSpin Migrate. And we have the PlateSpin Migrate client open here uh, on the, the starter console. But before we start with um, doing actual migrations, we're first going to talk a little bit about how you need to set up your uh, vCloud Director environment. Um, so let's quickly switch over to the to the VMware vCloud Director administrative console. And I'm just going to log in with um, organization administrator credentials for uh, one particular organization uh, that is called uh, Walmart in our uh, in our demo here. Now, one of the things we need to do in order to prepare our environment is to publish what is called the PlateSpin replication environment in a catalog. Uh, the PlateSpin replication environment is in essence uh, a mini Linux OS that we use for all our replications. So we need to make it available to uh, PlateSpin Migrate um, if you want to migrate systems into a vCloud director. You can download the PlateSpin replication environment from the PlateSpin Migrate download website. And once you have it uh, locally on your system, uh, we can go ahead and uh, start creating a catalog. So let's move over to the catalogs tab and then you just click on the green plus sign there um, to start the creation of a new catalog. You just give it a name. I'm just going to use PSPRE image here. So plate spin uh, and then plate spin replication environment image. Just provide a short description. Um, then you click the next button. Uh, for storage type, I'm just going to leave it to the default here, so I click uh, Next. Uh, share the, this catalog settings, I'm also just going to leave it to the default settings, so no need to do anything specific here. Same for Publish settings, you can just leave it to default, click Next, and then you click Finish. And this creates the catalog for our PlateSpin replication image. Okay, now we still just have to put the image in the catalog, so just click on the catalog, click on the little upload icon in the upper left corner there, click allow on the on the warning. Um, I have it downloaded on my local system here, so I just click browse for the local file um, and I'm just going to select the OVF file that I downloaded from the uh, blade spin download site earlier. There it is. And there's just uh, one thing that you need to be careful for and that is um, to not change the name. So the name has to be Blade spin replication environment. So don't uh, don't change that there. Um, okay. So this is all set now. So we can now uh, click the upload button and start the actual upload of the image into the catalog. And this is going to take, of course, a couple of minutes. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit until that's done. And one thing you'll notice is that even after the transfer is done, um, the import will still take a couple of minutes before it's uh, completely finished. And it, it is completely finished when you see the, the importing state is there, switch to uh, to ready. Okay, so we're all set. Let's return back to plate spin migrate, click on targets. So we're going to add a VMware vCloud director organization as a target via the add target button on the right side. So we just click that button. And then for type, you are going to select, uh, of course, VMware vCloud organization at the bottom. And then you're going to have to provide uh, the IP address of the actual VMware vCloud Director uh, server. You're going to have to provide an organization name and this is case sensitive so be careful there. And then for username and password an account with uh, administrative privileges for the organization. Uh, once you've provided um, the account information you can actually click on test credentials to see if uh, we can authenticate. And this is successful so we are now ready to uh, push the add button and start adding um, the VMware vCloud Director organization as a new target. While that's happening, we can go ahead and take a look at the workloads that we have discovered and then pick one to actually migrate. And we're going to pick this uh, Linux workload here. So you select it and you click on the button that's called uh, Configure Migration. And then in the next screen, you're going to see an overview of all the available targets that we can migrate this, uh, this server to. 
And in this case, we're of course going to select our Walmart uh, target at the bottom um, that we just uh, discovered. So select it and then click on the button configure migration again at the bottom. And then we're going to see uh, a whole lot of parameters that you can configure for your migration. And in this uh, short demo, we're of course only going to focus on those that are relevant or special for migrations to a vCloud director. And the first setting that we're going to talk about is called the Organization Virtual Data Center. Now, one organization can be linked to multiple organization virtual data centers. And by default, we simply pick the first available one. Now, you can, of course, change that. And you change that by clicking the Change VDC button at the top of the UI here. And you will then be presented with a list of data centers that you can pick one from. You just click the OK button and then we will simply deploy in that organization virtual data center. The second setting that we're going to discuss is the V app. And you have a drop-down box here, which normally would be populated with available V apps to deploy in, but we don't have any right now, which is why I'm simply going to provide um, the name for, for a V app that PagePin will create. And I'm just going to call it Demo V app, like this, and then move on. None of the other settings on this page are really very specific for VMware vCloud Director. Um, maybe just for kicks, we can uh, change the host name of the target server uh, once it has been uh, deployed in, in the vCloud Director. And we'll, we'll simply do the same for the, the test settings. I'm just going to click on Set To and then provide a different host name for the server in tests. And when that's all done, we can click save and prepare and note the warning that we put up there. So as the organization administrator, you should make sure that there are no quota limits that would prevent the migration of the server into your organization. When you've verified that, just click on the execute button and then on the run migration button, I'm going to confirm and execute button to start the first full replication of the server into uh, the organization. Let's take a look at what's happening in vCloud Director. So we can see our demo V app here that got created. And if we drill down on that, you can see the V app diagram. So we can see the, the system and the network. So let's drill down on the virtual machines. So we can see the, the system here that's uh, actually still powering on at the moment. And it's um, maybe interesting to take a quick look at what's happening under the covers, because whenever we do our application, the target system is booted from the PageSpin replication environment. So let's uh, let's right click on it and go to properties for a second. Uh, then if we go to hardware, you can see that there are two disks here. Now that first disk is actually the PageSpin replication environment and it's booted from that disk right now. And then once all the data has been transferred, we will actually reboot the system and then it will boot from um, that disk one uh, in which we have replicated the, the system. Okay, that's the end of our short demo movie of migrating servers to uh, VMware vCloud Director with PitSpin Migrate. Um, we hope you enjoyed it and have a lot of fun with your migrations.